one of the most discussed functions of language models such as ChatGPT and other chatbots is their ability to generate computer code. If you are an unexperienced coder yourself, it might be a bit intimidating at first to try to code with an assist of a chatbot, but I strongly encourage you to try it out with your students. In this video, I will show you some beginner activities designed for primary or high school that would be great as an introduction to writing computer code or taking the skill into a completely new level. Activity number one, generating HTML code. We will try to generate a very simple yet functional web page which will contain some HTML content then we'll apply some styling to it with CSS code and then add some JavaScript, which will add some interaction to uh, our website. And the funniest part of all is that we don't even have to know what is HTML, what is CSS and uh, what is JavaScript. We'll just tell the chatbot what to do and what we want to achieve. So again, I'm using the Bing chat, which is a part of Bing search engine. And we have to use uh, Microsoft Edge browser to work with it. I switched it into the precise mode, which is much more suitable for generating computer code. And my idea for our website is a very simple document, which will contain five quotes from a famous children character, Winnie the Pooh. So, dear chatbot, generate HTML page, which contains five quotes from Win Winnie the Pooh. As you can see, extremely synthetic instruction. Only uh, I only told him to generate the web page and told him the name of the character. He has to find out himself who is Winnie the Pooh, what are the quotes, famous quotes that we could use from him and work it into some kind of a useful HTML code. Okay, we have the first answer. As you can see, we have the code block with uh, some, some code, HTML code that looks quite usable and uh, some explanation from the chatbot. Uh, what we need to do is to copy the code to the clipboard and now we have to paste it into some kind of a HTML editor. And I suggest using CodePen. It's an online service. Uh, it's free in the basic uh, functions. And we don't, we don't even have to create an account to start using it. We just go to CodePen.io and click the Start Coding button. It opens the web editor for us. And here we have free te text box for HTML code, CSS code and JavaScript code and uh, the chatbot generates everything for us in the HTML code. So we don't need the other windows. I can close the minimize JavaScript editor and minimize CSS editor. I will only use the HTML window and I paste the code here and below uh, the application generates the, the web page for us. So we, as you can see, we have the we need a pull quotes. This is the headline generated in HTML and below is the list of, of quotes. A hack is always the right size. The thing that makes me different are the things that make me, me. Um, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. Christopher Robin. Uh, these are probably quotes from Winnie the Pooh. Uh, there is a chance that some of his uh, suggestions might be hallucination, might be not the real quotes, but the, the ones that he uh, in invented himself. But as you can see, the website is as simple as can be, but it's HTML code and it didn't report, did not report any problem. So let's add some styling to it. Please add a colorful back background. Make it a gradient from yellow to orange. Align the text 
in the middle and give it 70% width of the window. So two, two more instructions to make a colorful gradient background and to align the text in the middle of the web page. So this is the part where we where, when we want to work on the CSS code. But still you see that uh, I don't need to know what is the CSS. Uh, I just tell the chatbot how do I want my website to look like with a very casual and informal language that really doesn't have much to do with coding. He stopped generating the code and uh, I don't need his explanation so I can stop uh, his response right now. So, and I can again copy the code to the clipboard and see, let's see if he did what we asked him to do. And again you see I wanted the ba uh, background to be a gradient and we achieved that and the text is aligned in the middle, it's centered and it's it has some margin on the left and on the right. So everything, everything, everything great by now. I'll, let's even ask him, I would like the background to be animated somehow. Could you do it? I would like to have some special effect in the background. I didn't specify exactly what. Let's see what he invents. Presumably he could apply some animation to the gradient, but let's see if, he, if the chatbot could read my intentions. Again, let's copy the code to our code pen and see what did he come up with. And as you can see now, the background slowly fades, slowly animates, it, it fades from orange to yellow and it's, yeah, it, it, it's, it's this kind of effect that I was hoping for in fact and what is really uh, fascinating that as you can see I did not describe what I wanted him to achieve. Uh, I, w I wanted some kind of an animation in the background, I didn't told him to animate the gradient, uh, I was suppose, supposing that he would do that as, as the background consists only of the gradient and he, he managed to figure it out himself. Uh, the last step we can do by now, of course we could play all day long with, uh, with this uh, kind of uh, improvements on our web page, uh, but the last thing I would like to show you is adding some interac interaction. And the thing I would like to achieve is to have one button on the website that I would click and uh, the web would, the page would show me random quotes, random quote from the list. So let's add some interaction. Hide the quotes list. Add a big button on the center of the page. When I click the button, show random quote from the list. We have the code, let's see if it works. I have a new design with a button in the middle, show a random quote, and when I click the button, nothing happens. It doesn't work. I, I was supposed to see the random quote. Also the, uh, the headline disappeared. So there is, the, there is error in this code. And I don't know how to fix it myself. So let's ask chatbot to fix the error. Uh, I click the button, but nothing happens. Can you fix it? Can you find the problem that you in your code that you created yourself and fix it yourself without 
uh, my input. I apologize for the confusion. The issue is that the button is trying to display a quote that is hidden, but all the quotes are inside a container that is also hidden. We need to make sure that the, the quote that the container is visible. So it seems that he found the error himself and let's see if he will be able to uh, fix it. And this, and this is a fantastic advantage of coding with an assist of a chatbot that uh, whenever we approach some kind of an error when, where something doesn't work as we expected, we can ask the chatbot to find the error and to explain it to us and to work around this. We are not limited to some uh, one-way communication like searching for the answer on, on Google uh, where we maybe find some suggestion what we could fix in our code but uh, if it doesn't work we still don't know what to do. Here we can work it out with the help of a chatbot and this is fantastic. And even if ourselves we don't know how to fix it, <laughs> he can do this without our help. Let's copy the corrected code and hope that it works now. Oh, we have the button, we have the headline, we click the button and we see the random one out of five headline. The random uh, quote. So it works. And this is the part of a JavaScript code. So the, the chatbot was generating the HTML content of the web page. Then we asked him to style it, so to apply so CSS code. And then in the end, uh, we asked him to add some interaction, which means that he had to gen generate some kind of, uh, of JavaScript code that we can see here. And all of this he did by himself with uh, nothing but our uh, basic instructions. He made a mistake in the beginning, but then he was able to fix it himself. So this is um, this is very encouraging that we, if if we get stuck in something that doesn't work, we can still find our our way around it.